Good morning, good morning, good morning. Give me one second. I'm actually looking at something else as we're as we're getting started. I just want to see one thing. But uh, I am here with you. I'm just not looking at you. Um, I'm almost there, though. Let's see. Stay with me. I love you. I'm looking at you. Not yet. I'm lying. We're not lying. I'm jumping the gun. All right, cool. I just need to see that because Rhino Wealth is important and we got to make sure we get screenshots for things and that whole thing. Okay, cool. Welcome. How's everyone? All right, you can tell it's a Friday. We have like no one in here. Nobody wants to hang out with us today. Well, you know what I say? Womp, womp, womp. <sighs> All right. So we went ahead and sent out our Rhino Wealth update yesterday. And like we've shared many times, Rhino will do everything in its power always to make sure that we create really high value programs and share them with anyone we can and do on recurring uh, subscription agreements, like a dollar a week, $5 a week, whatever. Now those, those programs that we put out, just because we only charge a dollar a week or $5 a week, that's not commensurate with the value that we put into it. Oh, hey, yeah. Oh, it was actually yesterday was really good. Um, and I'll get to that in a second. But um, it's not commensurate with the value we put into it. We've always said since day one, we have no intention and we refuse to ever try to get rich on the backs of those that we're trying to help. It makes no sense to us. See, we've always believed that the value of the world are the people. That being said, to go ahead and liberate the people, you can't go ahead and charge the people to liberate the people. It doesn't make sense, right? Like you couldn't go up to someone and say, hey, listen, you need help and I'm going to help you. So give me your money. That doesn't even make sense. It only makes sense if you, it only makes sense after the fact, right? Like you gave me $10, your $10 I was able to do something with, and now it's worth $1,000 and I give it back to you. Even that being the best case scenario, you're still out in the beginning. And that's assuming that, um, that I'm able to do something like that, right? Which, which isn't exactly a good assumption. Well, for me it is, right? But not in general. So what we always said was we were never going to get rich off the backs of the people we were trying to help. But, well, not but, you still need to get money. Where's the money come from? Well, you have different classes of people and not in terms of this person's valuable, this person's not, but this person has low means. This person has means and they're happy. This person has means and they're an investor. This person has excessive means and they would like to really invest. The idea being that if you can go ahead and create something of value, that those that have means are looking to invest their funds. That's what investors do. They don't eat their money. They don't put it under their like uh, their bed. They look around and say, where can I put this money that's going to be best treated, that I could go ahead and make a profit on this money? And if I could do so in an ethical way that actually helps people as well, even better. So boom. Okay, great. I don't need to charge the people that we're looking to help. In fact, we could do the opposite. We could give them everything for free. And, well, I hate the word free. We could give them everything for their participation. And since we believe people in the value of the world, the larger the participation, the larger the base, the more valuable the community's worth. And only if we could figure out how to monetize that value that those with means would say, wow, look at what you have here. And you finally figured a way to monetize it. And that seems like a really good investment opportunity for me. And I have money. Therefore, that individual goes ahead and gives the money. The money goes ahead and continues financing the, the operations. And you grow, you grow, you grow. Okay. So that was a long road. And that road led us to Rhino Bucks, which is really, it's really quite beautiful in the way that it's able to go ahead and aggregate the population. And at the same time, value the population based on the participation of the population. Now, no part of Rhino Bucks is it, hey, listen, you need to be, you're part of Rhino, you need to be in Rhino Bucks, you need to put in a dollar, you need, no, 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 it's investment. But investment shouldn't be held to only the people that have excessive funds. You should be allowed to, or you should be able to offer anyone the ability to invest and allow them to participate in something that could be just as grand as well. But Anthony, you said the people you're helping, you're not taking money, no, 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 no. We're not taking money from anyone, but if somebody, makes the adult decision on their own to say, hey, listen, I have $10 extra a week. I would like to go ahead and 
and invest a dollar of it because I believe this is a, a piece of my portfolio that will allow me to, to reach the heights I want and I want to be a part of something, then it's my job to make sure that everything is accessible to everyone in a very fair way. Point being, that is Rhino Bucks. Rhino Bucks, that is the DNA of it collectively, right? So you have the bigger investors that got in at the beginning and they've been rewarded uh, many times over. But again, they still understand that their reward is so grand that all of the coin that is allotted to them is not in their hands. It's trusted within Rhino so that when the market grows large enough to absorb it, that's when it'll be uh, distributed to them. So even those that got in at so early are still mindful enough to say, because that's Rhino, hey, listen, I, I got in, I, I made a really good decision. It, it, it's worth a lot of money. But if I went ahead and you know, demanded it at the moment, or I went ahead and flooded the market with it, I would destroy everything that's happened. And those that are in Rhino have no intention of destroying what Rhino is for immediate gratification or at the behest or at the sacrifice of others. So everyone is pulling in the same direction, which is beautiful. And with that being said, well, there's a certain responsibility that's on me to either, well, to do a bunch of things, right? To nurture that environment, but also to lead by example as well, to participate with the group. You know, when I worked on Wall Street, I didn't have my own, well, I did have an office, but I didn't sit in my office. It was the worst place in the entire world. I went up to the boardroom with my team and showed them how to do it. In fact, I remember one time I had a team member who got hung up on like five times. And I said, get that guy on the phone with him. Gets on the phone and I, I'm speaking to him and not aggressively, but showing the individual that it's possible. The guy hangs up on me. So I call him back. Long story short, the guy eventually opened an account and it wasn't because I said, hey, you ugly looking, smelly person. It was that I was able to show my team that people aren't scary. If you have something that's worth something and you're able to present it in such a way that you're not selling it, but you're purchasing it together and it's participation and it's togetherness, it's okay. The point being, I've always believed that. You see me here every day. You see me here on Saturday. In fact, last weekend was Memorial Day weekend. You saw me every day of the Memorial Day weekend. And it's not because I'm like, I'm a total loser with no friends, which actually probably might be the case. But it's because I'm always going to lead by example. All of that is in preface, or I guess in, uh, yeah, preface for Rhino Wealth. Now, Rhino Wealth is a fantastic program. We have a 91% performance rate. In fact, if I was so inclined to say, you know what, I don't, I, I don't want to do things for people anymore. I'm, I'm so sick of, I, I don't like people. I don't want to save the world. I don't want to help people anymore. I probably could go like sit in a corner somewhere and just trade stock options all day. That's how successful Rhino Wealth is. But I would never do that. And in fact, on top of that, we offer a 14-day free trial and then charge us $5 a week thereafter. Now, why not a dollar? Because at some point, like, it, it really is quite good, right? And I'm going to share that with you in a moment. But um, be that as it may, the individuals, see, again, everything is a market. So we charge $5 because people understand the value and they're happy to pay the $5, right? Like, you wouldn't go up to someone and say, hey, listen, I have the cure for cancer. Give me, I'll, I'll sell it to you for 10 cents. Because if the person looks at you a little bit like, 10 cents, then you obviously don't really believe you have what you said you did, because I'd be happy to pay. In fact, I want to pay five. I want to pay $10 because that's the value I'm getting out of it. It allows everyone to feel good about it. It's like when you start dating someone, you should always allow them to pay the tip. Be a gentleman, pay the dinner, but allow them to pay the tip. I find more relation in my own experience. I'm speaking strictly from experience. The relationships that failed were the ones that I always paid everything. The relationships that succeeded, well, I guess everyone fails at some point because you're married, right? But the ones that had the best experience were the ones that everyone had skin in the game, especially a first date to allow the woman to pay the tip. And the point being, if you allow someone to feel like they're a part of it, well, now they're an accomplice to you. Now they want to see the end result. They want to, they feel vested into it. They're part of them is in it. So something like Rhino Wealth, we probably could do $10 a week and people would still feel just as good. In fact, if we did $10 a week, people would probably participate more and share more with people because they feel like they're really in it. Anyways, the point of that whole diatribe that I just gave to you is that every one of our components are obscenely high value, contrary to the price that it is. So yesterday, uh, Rhino Wealth put out, oh, thanks, Deb. Um, yesterday, Rhino, well, to put out uh, 
our research. Now, of course, it's always research. It's not recommendations. It's not advice. You need to be licensed to do that. It's a felony to give securities advice if you're not licensed, especially since I had a securities license and I'm barred from the industry for life, which is sounds a lot worse than it really is. I just didn't I didn't do the exit interview and give them my bank statements. And they're like, well, you know what we're going to do to you? And I was like, go ahead, do it. Um, so if you look it up, it's like, it sounds ugly, but I mean, I'm obviously here, right? <sighs> the point being, I need to be very mindful that no one ever confuses me with giving them advice. So we always say research. And it really is research. I share what I'm doing. I don't tell you what to do. I say, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm doing it. I did it. And if somebody wants to monkey see, monkey do, that's great. So yesterday, our research suggested there was two really, really great opportunities, one being Nike and one being Johnson & Johnson. Our research suggested that the June call options, and we were, we were live yesterday talking about this, which is the coolest thing, um, that expired in 14 days uh, were a good idea. So we went ahead and purchased Nike. We didn't do Johnson & Johnson because, you know, we have money, but it's like Rhino's money is not in a stock portfolio. We have about maybe a hundred dollars in that just so that we could participate. But our, our option portfolio isn't for Rhino to get rich because we have, we have things we have to pay for, right? So money is best used to run the company, not to trade options, but you need to have actual money in there so that you could be honest with people. So uh, we purchased the Nike options and Nike options, we got a 239. We sold them this morning at 435 uh, for an 86% gain in 24 hours. Go Rhino. The Johnson Johnson, we did not purchase, but when this call started, I was looking at what those options are and they're up 45%. Um, so go Rhino. And I'm only saying this because Maurice volunteered this yesterday. But if you remember, he said, I got both. Now, I don't know what price he's in at. I don't know what price he sold at. Like, I don't know any of that. But to the point that we actually touch the community um, and those that are in Rhino are appreciative of the value we offer, um, I imagine he's happy somewhere. Somewhere in Montana. Maurice is happy at the moment. Um, I think it's Montana. Anyway, the point being, so we went ahead and then re-emailed all of our abandoned cards for Rhino Wealth. Like, hey, guys, we just did this. So I suspect we'll, we'll get a little bit more. But the point being... When you take a look at the stock market, um, I, do, I think if somebody makes 10% in a year, they're happy. We just made 90% overnight, and that was the fourth consecutive over 40% trade we've done in the last two months. So how much could you charge for Rhino Wealth? Probably a lot, but we'll never charge over five. The point is that everyone always knows Rhino, 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 Rhino. Okay, so that's... I kind of, every now and then I want to do a victory lap. I don't do it often, but like I'm from Wall Street to, to get a 90% gain overnight on stock options that you walk people through that have never participated in it before. It's just meaningful. Ah, jeez, I really need to pick up this call. I'll call them back, whatever. Um, yeah, so Letty, I actually didn't get to any of my emails yet. Um, I feel like every time I'm on these lives, I always say that, all right, then I'm going to get to the emails after this because it's just, the way my mornings are, but I will get to the emails after this. So let me give you a little rundown of yesterday. Rhino Bucks, I think it's still at an all time high in terms of liquidity pool. We didn't purchase any yet today because Chase, who was calling me, um, one, of our, one of our business accounts, they doubled all the transactions. So every transaction that went out yesterday, they charged me twice. And there's a lot of things that go on in the Rhino accounts. So when the accounting is that bad, that all of our outgoing um, got accounted for two times, well, our account's kind of ugly. So I need Chase to correct that so I can take the money and buy the Rhino today. But be that as it may, I don't think anyone sold, so I think it's still where it is. Um, but it will be higher, so that's a good thing. Rhino, uh, the webinar yesterday, so Tuesday, I had a lot of fun. I think Tuesday was really, really good. And in fact, Anthony agrees. He's like, holy S-H-I-T, you got my mother involved. Um, and, sh and the way he described it was, she's um, um, devil's advocate. So if you could win that person, you did pretty good. So I felt really good about Tuesday's webinar. And then Wednesday, it's, it's so funny. Whenever you feel good about something, you walk in the next day like, 
I got this. No big deal. I really think I did awful. I did not think it was good at all. And we still got two signups, but they were dollars. And not that face was kind of weird. Like they were dollars. No, every signup is great. But it wasn't commensurate with, wow, this is like, you gotta like, you know, a dollar means that I trust you. A higher amount means, no, no, I really, I see the vision, right? So Wednesday, I did not feel good about it. So all yesterday, I was taking Tuesday's webinar, Wednesday's webinar, and trying to splice it together and say, this part of Tuesday's was better than that part of Wednesday's, but this part of Wednesday's was better than that part of Tuesday. So let's put them together, put them together to make one really great webinar, which I'm still recording. I cannot believe, uh, editing, I can't believe how long this is going. Um, but then yesterday's webinar came, and I gotta tell you, it's so funny. So like five minutes before the webinar, I'm like this. I'm so tired. Like my eyes by that point today, I'm I'm tired. Um, I, it's funny. I'm I'm human. I have rhino blood, but I'm I'm still human. Uh, so I was just tired, and I wasn't so excited because Tuesday wasn't very good, and you know, 55 members down to 21 audience, and I'm like. What am I going to have 10 today? And, you know, of course you're going to give the presentation. Like you have a million because that's Rhino, right? Like we're never going to, okay, only one person's listening. So let's, you know, half ASS it. And it's fine because I don't know the audience when I'm doing the webinar because I have the presentation full screen. So I can't see how many people learn. So I, I could be talking to a million. I could be talking to one. I, I have no idea. Um, so after the presentation, I see, and there's like 27, but it averaged 25 throughout. But I felt so good. I was like, I was good. Like, I'm already thinking about parts of Wednesday that I'm going to put into the Monday or the Tuesday, Wednesday, which means the editing's not going to be done till later today. Um, and only one sign up, but it was a doctor. Um, and he signed up for 100 a week, which is really cool. Um, and, and I said that in the, in the email yesterday. And the only reason I point that out is because there's different occupations that are dependent on different, not only educational levels, but educational um, duration. And to be a doctor, you, you, you had to do really good in school, right? But you also chosen to be in school for like another 10 years. And um, the assumption being that you're, you're well-reasoned, like you're an intelligent individual, like you could think, like you can reason something. So when you see someone of that stature, and again, I don't know him, he could be a complete cuckoo doctor, right? Like, but my impression is, I'm going to go with the percentages on this one. And when that individual signs up and they sign up for the $100 plan, it's like, okay, I've, I've felt really good about the webinar and this is, this is um, vindicating it. Uh, this is, you know, supporting it. So we're going to finish the editing at some point today, which would be really great. That's good. So which means our members are at a new all-time high and the, um, the recurrings and everything are, are at highs as well. So all good. Uh, Rhino bot, I fully expect to be done today. Um, the last news I got was it was done by last night. And um, so I just emailed the team member, well, slacked and said, hey, listen, uh, put it up. Let me know when it's up because I want to test it. I told them that they could have the weekend off and that next week we're going to go into turning Rhino bot into an affiliate bot. The way we do that is we're just going to duplicate what we have, but instead of our chat GPT prompt, you're going to have a chat GPT prompt. So you'll have a chat GPT account and we'll just swap out our links with your links. Meaning you can then go put that bot anywhere. It can do whatever it does for us. And every single individual that purchases is going to be purchasing from your affiliate link. Meaning the bot's going to do the work for you. It will be its own cash register for you. And once we do that for you and you can show a little bit of success, we'll take that and then we'll blow it up over the internet and you know, everyone will have rhino bots all over the place, which is really cool. Also, we had a one o'clock call, no, three o'clock call with this lady. And she's been part of rhino since the beginning. So I was actually able to look back and she was receiving the 50 rhino from um, November, 2021. Like if anyone remembers, we were giving 50 rhino every single month. Um, so she was, she's fantastic. And we were talking and she's like, hey, listen, I. So I, I run in certain circles. Uh, you know, we call ourselves the um, the tin hat people. She goes, I do a lot of um, advising for individuals looking to move their wealth in in um, non traditional ways. She goes, I've I have large groups, thousand person groups, this person group, that person group. 
Um, and I really, really would like for us to maybe have future conversations. Uh, would you be open to that? And I was like, oh my God. I was like, this is what, like, A, the answer is yes. But B, I've, I've been building purposely to build, to build, to build. Now it's the growth point. Anyone, and I'll write this in an email, anyone that has any friends or any 10 person group or any five person, any, anything, that's my job. Like, I want to go there. I want to talk to people. So I, I, I think she has the ability to be a really key missing piece. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, so that happened yesterday, and we're going to follow up on that. I think she invited me down to Atlanta. She's like, if you're ever in Atlanta, I was like, why would I be in Atlanta unless you invite me? She was like, okay. I was like, did I just get invited? But all right, so that's that. Um, so I think that's everything. I have to get the affiliate stuff done today-ish. Um, I want to be able to offer you a link that will go to the webinar page for sign up and or joining Rhino, but I need to edit the video first and then make that page and then, you know, so forth and so forth. So that's the goal to have done today. Um, I don't have any meetings today, so I'm, I canceled my meeting with my team. I told them just to slack me. So after this call, I got to go through my emails, catch up with my team, do the editing, create the page. Chase called me again, so hopefully they'll pick up when I call them back. I think that's where I'm at. And then tomorrow's prompt engineering. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing for prompt engineering tomorrow, but I'm sure it'll be something great. Um, and, and, and that's all I have, right? So I totally love everyone. Let me see if there's any questions, anyone that wants to yell at me. I don't think anyone's yelling at me. Okay, cool. All right. So love, love, love. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Have a really fantastic weekend and go Rhino, right?